Have you ever seen the movie Walk the Line about a guy named Johnny Cash? He was a very talented man, born February 12, 1932, in Kingsland, Arkansas. He grew up working on his family's farm, which was during the Great Depression. He loved listening to his mother's folk and hymn song. He just loved singing in general. It's something that made him occupy his time. He stayed there till he graduated high school in 1950. Johnny eventually moved to Detroit to find work, but then moved to Potomac, Michigan, where he worked at an automotive plant. That was short-lived as he enlisted in the Air Force. His basic training was in Texas. Johnny found his first wife, Vivian, there. He, he was soon shipped to Landsberg, Germany. It was there where he organized his first band, the Landsberg Barbarians. He was discharged in 1953, 1954, excuse me, returned to the States to marry Vivian. He, they settled in Memphis. He worked a variety of jobs. While working, he still tried to pursue his music, music career every chance he got. Later on, he auditioned for a solo artist, Sam Phillips, on record. He wanted to sing gospel, but that got turned down and didn't go very well. By spring, he was back in the studio recording with his band, The Tennessee Three. They finally released their first song, Hey Porter, but it didn't go well. They did a follow-up song called Cry, Cry, Cry that managed to crack the Billboard's top 20 list, peaking at number 14. So Doggar and Lonesome and Folsom Prison Blues were both publications top 10. His fourth song, I Walk the Line, was his best career song and personally my favorite song too. It shot to number one and stayed there for 43 weeks and sold over 2 million copies. In 1956, he was invited to sing the, at the famous Grand Ole Opry. Same year, he racked up new songs and working more than 200 dates that year. Following year, he switched to Columbian Records. Reminder, remainder of the 50s and start of the 60s, he continued to produce new songs. Somewhere, somewhere Don't Take Your Guns to Town, I Got Stripes, Ring of Fire, Understand Your Man, and The, Sh the Ballard of Ira Hayes. He appeared on shows like The Ed Sullivan Show, The Tonight Show, and other popular shows that were during that time. Even with all the money and the fame, he started to spin out of control. Marriage was, on, was failing, divorce was on the line, and he was touring was hectic. Cash started to, de to be dependent on drugs to keep up with the pace and to numb whatever feelings he had. By mid-1960s, it really started, con started to affect his career. But by 1967, he seemed to overcome his addiction with the help of his singing partner, June Carter. A year later, they were married, and his career was a hit again. Through the year into the 1970s, he was at the top of his game. He did a live recording at Folsom Prison in San Juan Prison. Both went gold and won numerous awards, like Country Music Association's Entertainer of the Year, and male vocalist in 1969. Another thing he was really proud of was a big hit was his own show, The Johnny Cash Show, on ABC. In 1980, Johnny Cash was the youngest living inductee into the Country Music Hall of Fame, also in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He then joined Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings, and Chris Christopherson to form a group called The Highwaymen. They released three albums between 1985 and 1995, even battling with health issues. In the 1990s, he was still a famous guy and loved to perform. He lost his wife unexpectedly in May 2003. Cash eventually passed away September 12, 2003 from complications from diabetes. In 2005, a film was released called Walk the Line. It was an Oscar nominated for Best Picture. They had seven children between them. Carlene Carter, Roseanne Carter, Rosie Carter, Kathleen Cash, Cindy Cash, Tara Cash, and Johnny Carter Cash. If you haven't seen the movie Walk the Line, you should. It's pretty great. And it is children approved. I've watched it with kids that I have babysat. Um, I hope that this video about Johnny Cash was excellent. 
and you learned a lot.